Spirit says, go big or go home. What? Guys, Spirit Airlines, they're trying to elevate and move from a low cost carrier, bare bones, a la carte pricing, where you have to pay for everything from your seats, to your check bags, to your carry on bags, snacks and drinks, to prior to boarding. Now elevate from low cost carrier to get into the big leagues like with Delta United American. So welcome to the channel, I'm Marvin. I'm passionate about travel, I've been to 87 countries. I have a second channel with my wife, so check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. So with the new bundle of fares from Spirit Airlines, you'll be able to get check bags, carry-on bags, a seat, drinks, snacks, prior to boarding, all bundled with your ticket. And for one of these fair bundles as well, you'll get Wi-Fi and priority check-in. So if you look at this table, what you see are the different options, the new bundled fares. You have the Go fare, which is basically an economy type fare. Included is one personal item. Now, a carry-on bag is not allowed, but you could pay to check a bag with this option. You can also pay for seat selection and you, of course you can buy food and drinks on board. Now what's excluded would be prior to boarding and prior to check-in. You cannot pay to have those. So if those services are important to you, the go is not an option. Maybe you can go savvy, which is the second tier option. Personal item is always included. You can actually get a carry-on or a check bag and you get a seat selection that's included as well. Now, you can also pay for your meals and Wi-Fi on board, and just like the Go option, the priority services, boarding and check-in, not included. Now, this is where it gets better. Go Comfy option. All the options are included, except Wi-Fi and priority check-in. What's What's new here is the block middle seat. So you get a comfortable middle seat, a block middle seat. So if you're traveling as a couple, you have the seat that's blocked. This is basically same like a European business class. So that's exciting. Recently, I went to the Farnborough Air Show and I was on the British Airways A320neo and they had the seat blocked to demonstrate the European business class as well. So, so that's nice, it provides some more space, some more leg room. You also get to board with the second group as well. And you have the carry-on bag and the check bag that's included. So this is where it starts to become close to the legacy carriers such as United, American, Delta. The big exception is those legacy carriers don't currently offer a block middle seat section. So, so that's a positive. Now guys, the best option to go big to fly home or fly to work or fly to vacation or wherever you're going. The big thing here is it involves every single option. So you get a personal item, you get the bags, you get the snacks, the seat selection. But what's new here are three things. Group one, boarding. So you're one of the first to board the plane. The second is you get to select a big front seat, which is similar to a US domestic first class seat, a much bigger seat. You also get Wi-Fi. That's pretty cool. Wi-Fi is included so you can stream, watch movies, etc. check your emails, and you get priority check-in. So that's a really, really good option. Like the Go Big option, I don't know how much more it's gonna cost each of these stairs. They haven't released those, so time will tell. And start booking these options on August 16th, so a couple weeks from now. So I'm interested to see what the difference in pricing is gonna be from all of these uh, fair options, from the Go to the Savvy to the Comfy to the, the Big. Implementation on board is about a month from today. So they stated August 27th as the date where this will be fully effective. Spirit also announced that they will be implementing a new boarding process. So they're gonna have five groups of boarding. So the Go Big is gonna have group one, the Go Comfy group two, and the folks that have priorities currently with 
spirit. So if you are the spirit gold, you'll continue to have the priority boarding. Also, the, the spirit branded MasterCard holders, you will have priority boarding as well. General thoughts, I commend Spirit Airlines for really, really trying to improve and have these positive, smart changes to improve. The European business class model in terms of having the block seat, that's a positive development. Will this lead to higher profits for Spirit? I don't know. Now, will this lead to more satisfied passengers and customers? Maybe. It certainly should lead to more visible pricing as well, being able to see the options more clearly as a total cost. So that's positive. Now, the big thing is, Will the legacy carriers respond? What will they do? Will they implement the block middle seat model as well? Time will tell. And also, how will they enforce the block middle seat? You know, since it's a new concept for US passengers as well? Time will tell. Comment below on your thoughts. Like and subscribe for more travel content. See you in the next video. One love.